My name is Amrit. I'm a um, final year neurology training company working with Dr. Al Rogan and Dr. Dalol at Walsgrave. Um, I've been asked to talk to you about the training pathway for a career in neurology. There are three main objectives to my talk. Objective one, I'll talk about the, tr tr the traditional training pathway for neurology. Objective number two, the recent changes to the pathway following the recommendations of the Shape of Training report. And objective number three, what you as medical students can do and what you can do as foundation year doctors in the next two, two, two to three years to radio applications in the future. I'm going to base my talk around three favorite words of mine. Um, each word begins with the letter P. Um, so my first favorite word is pathway. Um, we in neurology love our pathways. They indeed are things of beauty and for each patient we see, we like to localize the lesion in one of the neurological pathways. It, it just isn't fun if we can't do that. Um, I'm sure you've made good friends with the pathways during your time in medical school. Um, um, if, if you've made friends with them, you'll do well as, as, as doctors. Um, but I'm here to talk to you today about the greatest pathway of all, the pathway how to become a neurologist. Um, so why is it important to um, have a pathway? Um, as one of my heroes, Forrest Gump, says, if you don't know where you're going, you'll probably never wind up there. And just as a side note, I recommend the book of Gumpisms to read if you haven't read it already. Um, it contains some real um, gems and pearls of wisdom. So this is, how, this is the pathway I followed um, during my training. Um, after medical school, did two years of foundation training. Then there is a selection process involving an interview, two years of core medical training, another selection process and interview, five years of specialist training years with the option of pursuing research. Um, I would say roughly 30 to 40% of my cohort of um, um, trainees have gone out of program to do research. Time doing research isn't normally counted towards the five years of clinical neurology you need to do to become a um, consultant. Things, however, are changing. Um, if you have time and if you're keen, um, that's the link to the Shape of Training report. Um, They've chosen an interesting symbol as the icon. Some might say, um, I have to be careful what I say here. Some might say it looks like a knife. Um, some might even say it, it's a knife or dagger right to the heart of neurology trainees. I, I, I don't mind being um, politically incorrect. So the shape of training report contained four main themes. Um, however, the main theme was a recognition to possibly change the balance between specialism and generalism and the need to adopt a broader approach to postgraduate um, training. Um, so the, the main driver for why the shape of training report came out was the crisis in the general medical take. I don't know if you guys have managed to spend time sh shadowing doctors running the general medical take, but there's a real crisis patients after they get assessed in the emergency department if they need admission under the medical team they are assessed by the on-call general medical team and there are real staffing difficulties in specialties running the general medical take. Um, neurology, um, neurologists haven't um, been involved in running the general, general medical take up until now however the shape of training report um, aims to change change that. So the shape of training um, report essentially seeks to dilute existing specialist training. So this is the traditional pathway, two years of foundation, two years of core medical training, five years of specialty training. However, what the shape of training proposes is that there's an extra one year of general medical training and the term CMT is going to be replaced by IMT, internal medicine trainee. You then enter 
three years of specialist training years and during each of those um, years you will spend one fourth of the time participating in the general medical take so you'll be doing general medicine for one fourth of the time um, and three quarters of the time you'll be doing neurology um, now that works out um, roughly 2.25 years of specialist neurology training as um, compared to the current five years of, of neurology training. So there's, there's a big reduction of the amount of time trainees will be receiving um, neurology training. Um, now this would obviously um, compromise um, patient care. Patients would have to wait longer to see a neurologist. And as Dr. Al Wogan said, um, in the ideal setting, a patient with a neurological complaint needs to see a neurologist. Um, and there is the obvious concern of neurology trainees being deprived of enough time to, be, um, to become competent in all the facets of, of, of neurology. It's not an easy specialty, um, as Dr. Halwogan said, lots of facets involved and there are skills which can only be acquired through experience. Um, um, so, so there are concerns that this may influence neurology training um, in a not so positive manner. So following the shape of training report, the medical specialties um, distributed themselves into three groups. Um, group one um, essentially included medical specialties which shared a lot of um, who, w uh, group one contained specialties which had a lot in common with what was coming through the door on the general medical take. For example, elderly care, respiratory medicine, there's a lot of overlap between what they see in their specialist clinics and what comes through the door through A&E onto the acute medical unit. So they, they were on board with the shape of training um, report proposals. Group two, so this is where we were sitting initially. Um, we were supported by palliative medicine, medical oncology and dermatology. And we felt that yes, there is a need for um, um, specialist trainees, including neurology trainees to broaden their, um, 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 strengthen their expertise of general medicine. So we supported the additional one year of core medical training. However, we were quite reluctant to um, 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 relinquish one or two years of specialty training to general medicine. Then in group three specialties, these guys essentially didn't want to have anything to do with the proposals and said, right, um, um, there's no way we want to get involved in the general medical take. So this essentially included the um, um, more um, this included specialties which, which traditionally didn't have a great deal to do with general medicine, such as neurophysiology and aviation medicine. I haven't met a trainee in aviation medicine. I, I, prior to looking into the shape of training report, I didn't know the specialty actually existed. All right, so um, we're all members of the Association of British Neurology, so, so they put out their... Um, um, their, their position. Essentially, they, they supported the three years of internal medicine before specialty training, but thought continued engagement with internal medicine during specialty training in neurology would be damaging to the standards of neurology and neurology training in the UK, and therefore damaging to the standards of patient care. So very, very strong words put out in their official statement. Um, they felt that neurology consultants um, were best employed to do neurology. Um, and doing unselected take wasn't seen to be op the optimum use of a neurologist's time or skill set. Um, and they, they, the, the negotiations continued. And again, they, they were sticking to their previously stated position. And they felt that a minimum of four years committed to neurology training was non-negotiable. So there were so passions were running quite high. We 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 did f feel in the um, ABN community quite strongly about this issue. It is going to affect your training in the years to come. As of today, um, 
um, applicants to do neurology from, from this year onwards will have to do three years of core medical slash internal med medicine training. And thereafter, the neurology training program is going to run over five years. Um, one year's worth of which will, which will be more internal medicine. So essentially the number of years a neurology trainee will spend doing neurology would reduce from five years to four years. You'd end up doing an extra year of training um, um, to become a consultant. Sorry, two years. So one year training before you become a consultant. Now, the ABN um, um, during their negotiations suggested that perhaps the one year of training um, neurology trainees would do as part of general medicine could perhaps be um, used to do um, acute neurology or acute stroke. However, the, the JRCTB, the um, um, Joint Royal College Physicians Training Board, which oversees postgraduate training, um, um, refused that offer. Um, it is, however, likely things will change um, before you guys um, apply um, for uh, make your specialty applications. Um, our um, regional um, STC committee chair is participating in those discussions and and, and um, the sense I got from him um, is that there's a good chance the JRCTB may, may give concessions, so things will change. Um, the less said, the better. Okay, so how does the process work? So just like core medical training um, 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 interviews and, 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 and um, applications, um, the process is now national. Um, there are about 30 to 40 posts per year. Um, it's a fairly competitive specialty. Um, and, and by the time you um, um, are in a position to um, apply for specialty training, you'll be quite familiar with the more or less standard interview process. Um, you get given a clinical scenario, you're asked to make a presentation, and you're asked questions on um, professionalism and governance. All right. So how do you become a, a neurology trainee slash neurology consultant? So Dr. Al Rogan, I'm following, uh, after listening to Dr. Al Rogan, I'm sure your um, interest has been stoked. So the um, neurotransmitters have now crossed the um, synaptic cleft and they've, they've bound themselves to the postsynaptic um, receptors. So your job essentially is to ensure you um, propagate down the, um, the, the axon, which brings you to my second favorite word, which begins with P, potential, action potential. It's all about momentum. And if you take care of the small things, the big things will look after themselves. So, so live in the present moment at each stage of, of your training career over the next couple of years. Just make sure you do the basics well, have a broad idea as to where you're going, and, and, and if you want to, um, we from Warwick Medical School would, would wish for you to work with us in neurology at Walsgrave. Um, so um, as Dr. Dalal mentioned, um, try and, try and um, um, embed yourself in the specialty you want to do. Um, so um, ask to do a neurology job as a foundation trainee we at Walsgrave have an F2 on our rotor. Um, 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 try and um, um, do neurology during your CMT slash internal medicine training. Um, come down to clinic. Um, every day we have um, in excess of five neurology clinics running. Um, um, feel free to knock the door and, and I'm sure whoever's doing the clinic will be happy to have you in. Um, Look to get publications, presentations. Um, you get points for quality improvement projects, audits, and aim to go on um, relevant courses. Now, the ABN also runs a mentoring program where you get um, attached to a trainee who's doing, who's in neurology training. Um, it's a good website. Um, that's that's. Um, um, so the, the key essentially is to spend as much time as you can seeing patients with neurological conditions. There's, 
There, there is no um, quick fix. There is no easy way. Yes, you can spend hours in the library reading neurology textbooks, but unless you see patients, hear their story, examine them, you won't become competent in, in neurology. Um, get involved in teaching, um, and don't underestimate the, the importance of human skills. At the end of the day, we're working with people. We, we, we are helping people, and, and it's important to become a well-rounded individual um, if you um, want to do well in neurology. So at the start of the presentation, I, I, I quoted Forrest Gump. However, when I, during my training, um, I, I, I didn't know what I w wished to do. Okay? So you, you may have heard what Steve Jobs said. Um, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. So this resonates very well with me. I, I didn't know what I wished to do. I would do uh, diabetes and I would be fascinated by diabetes and endocrinology and I would come home and say, right, that I found my, um, my calling. Um, however, later on, I would be distracted by something else. And, and um, lo lots of my colleagues um, have been in a similar scenario where they haven't found their calling, their calling has found them. So, so don't, don't um, um, be in a rush to commit. Um, talk a bit about my journey. I was asked to, um, um, to talk about how, how I got into neurology training. So uh, I, uh, my favorite subject in medical school was clinical pharmacology. Loved the subject, um, um, did well in the exam. My least favorite subject was the final year general surgery, hated it. Um, however, because I knew I hated it and because I knew that I, uh, I wasn't as good as compared to my colleagues, I put in the extra effort, did well in the exam. However, the result did not change my, my impression of, 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 of the subject. I had a rotation on the stroke unit. I did enjoy it, but I, it, it didn't um, at the time um, convinced me to explore neurology um, as, as a career. I knew I wanted to do um, general medicine, um, used to often see the um, general medical registrar rushing around the hospital, firefighting. Um, when I started my foundation training in Torbay, we had a red poster up in the doctor's mess and it said, keep calm and call 4596, which was the med regis bleep. And the med reg was a hero in our eyes. We would do anything for the med reg. Um, so at some point, I, I, I did think I would end up as a medical registrar. Um, I did um, um, an acute medicine rotations AME slash EAU at Torbay. Loved the job. Did a quality improvement project in respiratory medicine and diabetes. Now, at the time, I was lucky because during my F1 year at Torbay, there were no um, neurology consultants. However, as when I started my F2, um, we had a visiting neurology consultant from Plymouth, Dereford, and um, we used to play squash together. And we 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 had a patient on the ward. He um, he was kindly providing input, and I was the um, lead um, junior doctor overseeing the case. It turned out the patient had a rare condition. We wrote her up, so that was the first tick mark on my CV and perhaps that was the first step um, I took towards um, doing neurology long term. Um, I, I, um, I then went to Plymouth and um, during my core medical training years I, I, I chose a rotation where I had four months of diabetes and four months of endocrinology. So I, 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 I said to myself, right, I, I Wanted to, I want to do general medicine. I um, want to be um, um, an acute medic. I want to be involved in the general medical take. And um, I like diabetes. I started doing a postgraduate diploma. Um, f three or four months into the diploma, I, 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 my interest started to wane. And um, I... Um, passed my MRCP, um, and as it turns out, my penultimate rotation as a CMT 
was in neurology. It was not something I had chosen to do. Um, however, when I started to do it, very much like the setup at um, Walsgrave, um, the neurologists at Plymouth adopt a very hands-on approach, so they get involved in seeing patients in the acute setting, and I, I did find it um, um, pretty interesting. Um, I guess the, the, the biggest factor which won me over was I, I found neurologists cool. I, I could get on with them, I could relate to them. They shared common interests. Um, there was good banter on the ward. Um, I went in with a preconceived notion, right, these guys are a bit odd. They, they live in ivory towers. We'll never get to see them. However, my outlook completely changed when I, when I did the job in um, Dareford. I enjoyed working with a large MDT, um, and, and I, I can remember the exact moment when, when I knew that neurology was for me. Um, a patient came in with a brainstem syndrome, and the registrar and the consultant were having a very heated and passionate debate as to whether the lesion was in the pons or the medulla. And, and you, could see that they, you could see the passion, um, and, and it just st struck a chord with me, and I said, right, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I felt that they were making a real difference to, to patients' lives. Um, so um, I had three weeks before the application window opened. Um, I, I, I was lucky enough to be granted a, a, a training opportunity here in the West Midlands programme. So I rotated around um, Stoke, Birmingham and Coventry. And as with choosing a specialty, um, choosing a subspecialty again has followed the same path for me. So me not finding a subspecialty, but the subspecialty finding me. So um, movement disorders is, is my calling. I did movement disorders at other centres and... Um, it didn't quite appeal to me, however, when I, and when I um, started working here, I caught the bug. Um, so hopefully um, things will work out well. So I guess the, the take-home messages from my side would be um, not to be in a rush to commit. Um, don't underestimate the power of hard work and momentum. Uh, remember you're choosing a career and not a job. Um, so we're living in the age of exception reporting, etc. Um, so remember, um, a doctor, um, life as a doctor, um, it's not a routine job, it is a career, it is not a job. Okay, so you need to go the extra effort for your patients. Um, you'll, you'll be in a very privileged position, you'll be in a position to help people, so don't underestimate the power that, that will come with that. Um, you'll make mistakes along the way, be humble, learn from the mistakes, and do you know that, what the best mistakes are you can learn from? The ones made by others, yes? Okay, um, and I guess I, my last take-home message, which would bring me to my third favorite word, which again begins with the letter P, so is to remember to enjoy the journey and the scenery along the way. Um, so my last favorite word, word is paridolia. Yes? Uh, do you know what that means? I don't have any gummy bears. Um, so paridolia is the phenomenon of seeing familiar patterns in random stimuli. So you um, often see on Instagram um, um, people um, posting slices of bread with Jesus or Obama. So, um, so remember to enjoy the journey and scenery along the way and, and your homework for tonight will, is to find out which neurological condition um, predisposes you to experience pareidolia. Thank you very much.